Okay, so it looks like we're live. This is Ember, and today I am going to show you guys how to make bath fizzies. Um, so if you are in, go ahead and put your name, where you're from, and we'll get started in a couple seconds. like we have one person. Yeehaw. Go ahead and give it a couple seconds just in case people are trying to find the Facebook Live. I hope you guys are all having a pretty good week so far. Weather's not too bad. It's pretty nice out here today. A little hot, kind of humid, but my plants are enjoying it. Okay. Uh, so again, this is Ember, and today I'm going to show you guys how to make bath fizzies. So to get started, you're going to need quite a few things. So first, you are going to need baking soda, cream of tartar, um, you just find this in like the seasoning section. Corn starch, some salt. Um, I have Epsom salt. Yum, you can use coconut oil or almond oil or some sort of oil. Um, we're also gonna need measuring cups and uh, measuring spoons of various sizes. Um, I also brought some essential oils. So find something nice that you like. Um, some sort of coloring if you want to. Um, you can use just like food coloring. I have um, like mica dye for like making soap and stuff like that. Um, a whisk would come in handy. Um, two different kind of bowls. We're going to mix our uh, dry ingredients and our liquid ingredients separately before combining them together. And then you need some sort of mold that you're going to create your uh, bath bomb in. So you could either use like some sort of silicon mold like this. Um, I also have like little bath bomb molds. So they look like this. You stuff stuff in it and then squish it together. Um, if you want to make something like this, you could also use like Easter eggs or any kind of fun thing that does that. Um, I've also made them just in like cupcake liners. So I've got one um, with a little bit more probably a party, um, but I just squished them down in a cupcake liner. Okay, so if you have all your ingredients, we're gonna go ahead and get started. Um, and the instructions um, will also be posted on Facebook so you can follow them along. Okay, so I'm just gonna um, aim down here so you guys can kind of see what I'm doing um, while I'm making our bath bombs. So you're going to need a cup of baking soda. So I'm just measuring out. Hopefully I can get a cup out of this. And be really precise if you can be when you're measuring. Um, bath bombs can be a little bit finicky, so they might not be like perfect the very first time. Um, or if your ingredients have gotten like wet or anything like that, it might not work out. Um, and be as fizzy as the ones you have in the store, but they should still work pretty well. Um, and then we need a fourth a cup of the cream of tartar. So I'm just going to go ahead and measure that out. My cat is getting into my book bag behind me. Her name's Taco. She's pretty much adorable. Um, we need half a cup of cornstarch. Then when you're done with the cornstarch, you can make oobleck with it if you want. It's just equal parts cornstarch to equalish parts water. We might do that later. Oh, I'm very good at measuring. That's why I have a sink right there. So half a cup of cornstarch. And we're also gonna need a half a cup of salt. I'm 
I drew this stuff out. I obviously bake a lot. Not a very good cook. And I think my Epsom salt might have a hole in it. So I'm making kind of a bigger mess than I normally would in the kitchen. Got our Epsom salt. Okay, so we've got all of our dry ingredients in here. And we're just going to mix it up. I'm just checking to see if anybody's commented. It's just kind of nicely whisk it all together. Okay, once it seems like it's pretty much all mixed together, we're going to go ahead and we are going to mix together our liquid ingredients. So I'm just going to set this aside for a second. And I spent a little bit of stuff in my bowl. So I'm just going to rinse it off really quick. So next, we need two teaspoons of essential oils. So I think I'm going to mix some up. Um, I've got some vanilla. Um, I have some orange. A little bit of sandalwood. Um, if you're going to use vanilla, make sure it's like an essential oil and it's not like baking vanilla because that's not going to do um, what you want it to do. So we need two teaspoons. So let's see. And sometimes they take a little bit of time. Boop, 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 boop. Got like 10 drops of vanilla. Do a couple drops of orange. If it decides to come out. There we go. Nine, 10. And a couple of sandalwood. Smells pretty good. Just gonna add a little bit more. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So now I know if I double my recipe. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four. Okay. So that shouldn't be about two teaspoons. And then we need two and a half tablespoons of coconut oil. So you can either um, use, like if you have solid coconut oil, just pull it out, um, put it in the microwave, check it every like 10 or so seconds. Um, or if you have like almond oil or some other type of oil, um, you can use that as well. Um, I'm just gonna use sweet almond oil instead of um, melting up um, the coconut oil. So two and a half tablespoons of oil. The kitten is very sad and wants to join us. One, two, boop, 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 boop. two and a half. Okay, and then we're just gonna add a teeny, teeny, tiny bit of food coloring. So again, I'm using you know, like a powdered mica. So, um, but if you have just regular food coloring, um, you can just put in a couple drops. I'm trying to see if I have a little spoon I can use. Don't so use like a super ton. Cool. Okay. Now we're gonna also mix this guy up. We're mixing it, it's turning a pretty cool color. Okay, so once it's all mixed up, we're gonna go ahead and combine the two sets of ingredients together. 
So we're going to be kind of careful um, with this. And we're slowly going to kind of pour this in while mixing it. So this is going to take a little bit. Um, you might have to put a tiny, tiny, tiny bit of water in here. Um, or if you have, I think it's witch hazel, you can spray some of that in here. But it's just going to start, start clumping up. It is kind of dusty, so you might want to stand back a little bit. So you don't get a nice lung full of baking soda. You don't want it to be super wet, you just want it to start kind of getting crumbly. So you can see it's starting to get kind of crumbly in there. So I'm just going to kind of keep mixing it around. Okay. It's almost there. Make sure you get kind of up around the sides. Just like if you were like making cupcakes or something like that, you want to make sure everything is getting mixed together. Oop, oop, oop. Still have quite a bit of um, stuff left in my bowl, so I'm going to see if I have a little spatula to kind of get the last little bit of liquid out of here. this looks kind of um, nice and mixed up. I'm just going to try putting it in here really quick to see if it works. Hello kitten. Okay so it is kind of squishing together. That's good. It is going to be kind of powdery. Um, so if for example you are using two kind of molds you're going to kind of squish it all together and then you can kind of squish like that. You might get a little um, bit poking out, but that's okay. Just kind of squish it together. You need to be kind of careful. You're going to take it out so that didn't squish together super, super well. All right, sorry, let me knock my cat off. Be kind of gentle. So I'm just going to add a little bit more liquid in here just because it's not quite sticking together the way I want it to. One second. Go down and grab it. I'm just spraying a couple squirts in here. Don't spray too much or you'll start um, getting a lot of fizzies. Okay. Let's see if we get it now. There we go. Ta-da! So there's a bath bomb. He's sticking together a lot better now. And when I'm um, kind of just letting them hang out, um, I'll either just um, put them in like a cupcake liner just so they can dry out. So there's one bath bomb. Um, here's a bath bomb I made probably about like two years ago, and I'll show you that it does still work. I had to test one. Um, you could also, like I was saying, you can use just kind of like a cupcake tin. And just kind of push it down. 
Um, if you have like a something to hold its shape, you can also do that just so it doesn't get super flat. So just have a half cup measuring cup. I'm just pushing it into its cupcake tin like this with my hands. It smells really nice. You can kind of see it is kind of holding its shape a little bit. So he'll be a little bit more crumbly. Um, but you can also use like your little silicone mold. So I might just use something to kind of push them in here. And you do want to get them in pretty firm. Um, otherwise, they'll start kind of falling apart. So get as much as you can cram into the little spot. Jam them in there. And then give them a little bit of time to cool. Not to cool, but to harden up. Because there is a little bit of oil in there, a little bit of water. And the oil is going to kind of, if you're using coconut oil, you know, it is going to solidify a little bit more. So we've got a couple little guys in there. So there's a couple ways that you can make um, bat bombs. Um, if you are really creative, you can also mix um, different parts of your bath bombs in different colors. So I'm just going to add a little bit of a different color, some yellow, um, whoop, there's a lot, into this one. And then we can make different colored bath bombs, like a half and half kind of situation. It's a really, really pretty one. And let's see. Scoop up. Some in the yellow, Ooh, it's a little blue still, but that's okay. And a little in the blue. I'm just gonna squish them together. Be really careful when I open them. Now we've got kind of a two-toned uh, bath bomb going on. He fell apart a little bit. So there's a couple ways you can make bath bombs. Um, they are super fun um, to make. They smell really good. If you don't have a bath, um, you can just throw them in the bottom of your shower. Um, they smell really nice. Um, once you are finished making them and they've hardened, this one has kind of like, you know, it's hardened up a little bit more. Um, just make sure to store them like in a plastic bag or something kind of airtight. Um, or if they get exposed to water or something like that, they are going to start um, not fizzing as well. So I'm just going to fill this up with some warmer water for you and show you that it still fizzes after all this time. My water takes a while to warm up apparently. Okay. So there he is, fizzing away. And this one's probably about two years old. I made them for Christmas one year. You can see it's all fizzing up. Smells super good. You can really hear the, the fizziness. So they do work pretty well. Um, I stored mine in like a plastic tote, um, so that's why it's still going. They make good gifts. If you're into dad jokes, you can make them and do a lot of like, you're the bomb kind of jokes with them. Give them to people. Um, yeah, but that's bath bombs. Um, if you have any questions, um, go ahead and post them in the comments and I will try to get to you as soon as I can. And I'll also post, um, the ingredient list is already up on the video, I believe, but I also will kind of post the play-by-play -play 
um, if you're not feeling like watching the video. Um, if you do not um, have cream of tartar or you already have um, something else, um, you can also use citric acid um, in place of that. Um, I believe you use a half of a cup instead of a fourth of a cup. I'll double check. Um, but it's also another kind of sugar-like looking um, powder. I believe it's what they put on like sour gummy worms to make them like super, super sour. Um, but that's another thing you can use um, in place of cream of tartar. Um, it's just sometimes can be a little bit easier to find cream of tartar at like the grocery store. Okay. Yes, Grace, I can't wait for you to show us um, the cool bath bombs you make. Um, okay, well, that's it. Um, post your pictures, and if you have any questions, um, go ahead and post them. Have fun!